the best way to get better results in software is make it more efficient. And to do that, the simplicity is your best ally. On this video, I will talk about one amazing book that will help you to fight against the complexity, a philosophy of soft design. Hello everyone, my name is Otavio Santana, I'm a software engineer and architect. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are an engineer who wants to achieve better results and be more efficient and more productive as a software engineer, so you want to become an ultimate sophisticated engineer. And inside my channel, you are able to learn more about it. So please subscribe, give your thoughts and give me the like. A Philosophy of Soft Design was my favorite book, uh, especially because when we talk about simplicity is one thing that I enjoy most. Uh, the first topic around the book is to fight the complexity. And how to achieve that? Okay, that's easy. To achieve simplicity. And the book starts to mention the complexity that comes along the time and how to measure this complexity, especially because the book has the definition of complexity. So complexity is anything related to make the structure of the source system hard to understand and to modify. Okay, Otavio, it's too abstracted. How can I measure that? The book also has the methodology that I enjoy a lot. Uh, basically, uh, the book has three steps. The first one is change amplification, where I need to count how many components I need to touch to, to deliver a feature. One, two, three, ten, eleven, one hundred, one thousand. As much points I need to touch inside of my software more complex this software might be, okay? The first one, change amplification. If I need to touch just one point, it might be more easier to understand and it might be less complex than one that I need to touch and 100 components to, to handle that. The second one is the cognitive load. How many days do I need to understand your code or your system architecture? I mean, given that I'm doing onboard right now, how many days I need to have to learn and start to help you inside your product? One day, two days, one month, six months. Of course, with more days, with more times, it also means it's a complex. There is a huge complexity inside your system. And the book has several samples and several information around that that I love a lot, okay? The third one is the real life. Sometimes we're just gonna find something that you don't know when you run something. You're gonna miss some information or you're running for it. So the unknown unknowns. It's happened. Uh, sometimes when you increase the, the application to 10, 11, we're gonna, gonna find out some memory leak, some connection leak that we did not find on a station environment or development environment, okay? And it's happened, it's normal. You don't like it, but it's more often that we wish. Again, change amplification, how many fields, repository, points, I need to talk to deliver a version or a new feature. Cognitive load, okay, how many days, how many time, how many documentation I need to reach, understand what's going on inside the project. And the last, the last one is impossible to handle. That is unknown unknowns. It's happened, okay? We don't like, but it's sad, but F 
happen more than we wish. And inside the book, it also has the difference between tactical and strategic. When you talk about the tactical, it might be faster than progress, but as long time it's going to, it will become more slower than the strategic one. The strategic mode inside the philosophy is you need to understand that the code is not enough. We need to understand the whole overview, the whole scope and the whole scope of my application, of my software. Okay, that's the main difference. So I can work faster tactically, but not the whole, the whole year, maybe one month, two months, because especially as much code I put in quickly, I may I put some technical depth inside. So please, please pay attention on that. Um, the book also has high definition of one person that goes so extreme on the tactic mode. The person is the tactical tornado. Is a person who goes quickly, solve a lot of problems but don't think around the long term. And what happened, the code would become even more hard to understand with the time. And how about you? Do you have or do you have any tactical tornado inside your team? How hard is to handle with this kind of person? Please put your comments here and of course, your like. And another point inside the book is the overview around several APIs, especially the Java API. The main goal here around this book was to, to fight the biggest enemy inside the software design, that is the complexity and how to achieve it more simpler and make that everybody can understand you, understand your code, understand the right direction inside the soft design. It's a wolf book, so please uh, read, pay attention, and you might read more often this book because it has several information that you might use more often that we, uh, that we want, especially when we talk about tactical, strategic, and a tactical tornado. So uh, read this book, and give your thoughts. Do you read this book? What are your thoughts about this book? Thank you and bye bye.